Hello friends, welcome to Prep Harmony, where we believe education should be our fundamental right and knowledge should be free for all. I am Kritika, your mentor who will be bringing to you a lot of videos for all competitive exams. Please subscribe to our channel so that you can get the videos. And also press the bell icon so that you get video notifications. Please share with your friends so that we get motivated to bring you more knowledge. Let's grow together and prepare in harmony. Welcome again. Introduction Satavahanas and other indigenous dynasties The annals of Indian history reveal a mosaic of dynasties and empires that ebbed and flowed, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural, political, and economic landscape of the subcontinent. Among these, the post-Mauryan period stands as a crucible of transformation, witnessing the rise of indigenous dynasties that would play a pivotal role in shaping the destiny of ancient India. In this intricate tapestry, the Satavahanas emerge as a prominent thread, weaving their influence over the Deccan region and beyond. The Satavahanas The genesis of the Satavahanas can be traced back to the 1st century BCE, as they carved a formidable empire with Pratistana, modern-day Pathan, as their capital in Maharashtra. Notable rulers such as Simika, Gotamiputra Sadakarni, and Yajna Sri Sadakarni ascended the throne, steering the destiny of the Deccan. The Satavahanas demonstrated a keen military prowess that enabled them to consolidate power and extend their dominion from the Krishna River to northern Maharashtra. Economic and Cultural Achievements Beyond military conquests, the Satavahanas played a crucial role in fostering economic prosperity and cultural vibrancy. Their strategic control over vital trade routes facilitated flourishing trade relations with the Roman Empire and Southeast Asia. This economic prosperity, in turn, contributed to the grandeur of the Satavahana Empire, with their capital becoming a hub of artistic and cultural endeavors. Notable monuments such as the Amaravati and Nagarjunakanda stupa stand enduring testaments to their patronage of art and literature. Other indigenous dynasties The Shekas and Western Kshatrapas To the west, the Shekas, a nomadic Central Asian people, exerted influence over Western India and parts of Central Asia. The Western Kshatrapas, a branch of the Shekas, ruled regions such as Gujarat and Malwa. Known for their resilience and adaptability, these dynasties engaged in dynamic interactions with other cultures, contributing to the cosmopolitan fabric of the era. The Kushanas in the northwestern expanses, the Kushanas, with roots in Central Asia, established a formidable empire. Under rulers like Kanishka, they engaged in diplomatic exchanges with the Chinese, Persians, and the Roman Empire. This cross-cultural interaction left an indelible mark on art, religion, and trade, with the Gandhara School of Art being a notable cultural legacy. The Andras and Ikspikas On the Eastern Front, the Andras controlled the coastline, leveraging their maritime prowess for trade and cultural exchange. The Ikspikas, ruling in the Andhra region, contributed to the Buddhist cultural landscape through the construction of significant monuments. This Eastern influence played a crucial role in shaping the diverse cultural tapestry of ancient India. The Guptas As the post-Mauryan period unfolded, the Gupta Empire emerged in the 4th century CE, heralding the classical age of Indian civilization. Under rulers like Chandragupta I, Samudragupta, and Chandragupta II, the Gupta dynasty achieved political stability and economic prosperity. The Gupta Empire witnessed advancements in science, mathematics, literature, and art leaving an enduring legacy that significantly influenced subsequent Indian history. 
Conclusion The post-Mauryan period in Indian prehistory is a kaleidoscope of diverse dynasties, each contributing distinct hues to the cultural, political, and economic canvas of the subcontinent. The Satavahanas, alongside contemporaries like the Shakas, Western Shatrapas, Kushanas, Andras and Aikshvakas, set the stage for the Gupta Empire, a golden era in the annals of Indian history. Exploring this multifaceted epic provides a panoramic view of ancient India, showcasing the interplay of various civilizations. And laying the foundation for the resilient and diverse cultural heritage that defines the subcontinent today. Some interesting facts. One Satavahana's Deccan dominance, the Satavahanas, emerging in the first century BCE. Established their dominion over the Deccan region, with Pratisthana, modern-day Pathan, as their capital, showcasing military prowess and administrative acumen. Two economic prosperity through trade, the Satavahanas fostered economic prosperity by strategically controlling vital trade routes. Resulting in flourishing trade relations with the Roman Empire and Southeast Asia, Three Duck Cultural Patronage, the Satavahanas left an enduring cultural legacy, as evident in the artistic marvels of the Amaravati and Nagarjunakanda stupas, showcasing their patronage of art and literature. 4. Shakas and Western Shatrapas in the West, the nomadic Shakas and their Western Shatrapa descendants exerted influence over Western India and Central Asia. Engaging in dynamic interactions with diverse cultures. 5. Kushanas and cross-cultural exchanges, in the northwestern reaches, the Kushanas, with Central Asian roots. Engaged in diplomatic exchanges with the Chinese, Persians, and the Roman Empire, leaving a profound impact on art and religion. 6. Eastern Maritime Prowess the Andras, known for their maritime prowess, controlled the eastern coast. Contributing significantly to maritime trade and cultural exchange during the post-Mauryan period. 7. Aikshvakas and Buddhist Monuments The Aikshvakas, ruling in the Andhra region, left an enduring legacy through the construction of significant Buddhist monuments. Adding to the cultural richness of ancient India. 8. Gupta Empire's culmination, the Gupta Empire, ascending in the 4th century CE. Marked the culmination of the post Mauryan era, achieving political stability and economic prosperity under rulers like Chandragupta I and Samudragupta. 9. Advancements in Science and Arts the Gupta Empire witnessed remarkable advancements in science, mathematics, literature, and art. Contributing significantly to the classical age of Indian civilization. Ten diverse dynasties shaping cultural mosaic, the post-Mauryan period in Indian prehistory emerges as a dynamic era where diverse dynasties such as the Satavahanas, Shakas, Kushanas, Andras, and Aikshvakas collectively shaped the cultural mosaic of ancient India, laying the foundation for the resilient and diverse heritage that defines the subcontinent today. Some interesting facts. One question, who were the notable rulers of the Satavahana Empire during the post-Mauryan period? Answer, notable Satavahana rulers include Simika, Gotamiputra Sadakarni, and Yajna Sri Sadakarni. 2. Question, which dynasty controlled Western India and parts of Central Asia during this era? Answer, the Shakas, a nomadic Central Asian people, and their Western Shatrapa descendants exerted influence over Western India and Central Asia. 3. Question, what was the economic impact of the Satavahana's strategic control over trade routes? 
Answer, the Satavahanas fostered economic prosperity through flourishing trade relations with the Roman Empire and Southeast Asia. 4. Question, what significant cultural contributions did the Ixvikas make during the post-Mauryan period? Answer, the Ixvikas, ruling in the Andhra region, left an enduring legacy through the construction of significant Buddhist monuments. 5. Question, which dynasty marked the culmination of the post-Mauryan era and achieved advancements in science, mathematics, and the arts? Answer, the Gupta Empire, ascending in the 4th century CE, marked the culmination of the post-Mauryan era and witnessed remarkable advancements in science, mathematics, literature, and art. Crafting quality educational content is a substantial investment in both time and resources. Your support, no matter how modest, can be a powerful catalyst in accelerating our content creation process. You can donate us by scanning the code below and help us as little as you can. Thanks in advance. Dosto, hum log shiksha ko desh ke kone kone tak muft pahunchana chahte hain. अगर आपको हमारे वीडियो से कुछ भी सीखने को मिला हो और आप अगर हमारे शिक्षा मिशन में सहयोग करना चाहते हो तो नीचे दिए कोड पे स्कैन करके हमारी मदद कर सकते हैं इसके लिए हम हमेशा आभारी रहेंगे